I've completely run out of content ideas, so uh, I think it's resorted to uh, time to teach you how to cook a cat. So yeah, here we go. My bad, guys. I would never cook a cat. Anyway, uh, we, we gotta make this at least somewhat themed to my channel, so this is a uh, Mr. Protector Alarm right there. It's gonna, if anything catches on fire, it's, it's gonna but it's gonna go off safety. Yeah. All right, so, so the first ingredient that you're gonna need, right, is we got some onion. I, uh, I had a minor mental breakdown because I thought I forgot to buy some at the store, but we already have one in the fridge. So yeah, I'm gonna try to open this plastic bag. All right, so we got our onion. I can't remember if yeah, this is all should be good. So what you're gonna want to do is if you buy an onion, an onion, what the hell? If you buy an onion at the store, you're gonna want to cut it in half and then remove the sole. I mean the pit. So there's like a little bit in here that you want to just like take out, and then you got a you got an onion. Yeah. You you know you're doing it right if you start crying uncontrollably. What the hell is this laptop? strange phenomenon about when you start going to college is you no longer know where anything in your own damn house is. What the hell? Alright, so it turns out uh, I put it in this weird drawer thing that closes like that for some reason. Alright now, so if you happen to not have the, one of these things, you're gonna have to like use a knife and actually have skill. But uh, since we have this thing, we're just going to de-stress ourselves by imagining all our problems are this onion and we're just going to beat the shit out of it, so yeah. Alrighty, now uh, we got all our onion slapped. I don't know how else to explain this. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's get a cinematic shot of this. Oh yes, yeah, cooking video. Alright, so we're going to take our this thing. Actually... I don't know why I'm not using this one. Put this on top, put it like maybe, I don't know. There's probably fine. High fire alarm. Anyway, um, we're just gonna wait for this to heat up a little bit. And uh, I honestly can't remember if we're supposed to add butter, but I think I'm going to, cause I'd rather do that and have it maybe not stick to the pan. So we got uh, this like fake butter here. Add that to it or something. Honestly don't know if I can even call this a tutorial because it's more like me teaching myself how to make this as I go. So we'll see how this turns out. All right, so we're just gonna spread the butter around so that it heats up and stuff. Make sure I'm freaking burners on yeah it's still good so yeah, we're just gonna spread this around to make it so that onions try not to stick to the pan but they probably will regardless because they hate me they make me cry on a daily basis yeah i don't even know what this video is at this point all right so we're gonna take our uh onion board and uh Put them in the flames of cooking. I don't think I can do this one handed, unfortunately. All right, pretty a little bit more heat or something. But yeah, we got the onions in the pan. A bit of butter. And yeah, now we just gotta kind of saute these until they're, I think what I'm going for is like a clear-ish look. So we don't want them to be too raw or whatever i don't know honestly i don't even know if the butter was supposed to be added but we'll find out i guess maybe turn this fan thingy on i guess Alrighty, about now is the time where like i have these kind of sauteing don't want to leave them for too long but you can leave them for a decent amount i guess we're gonna get our pasta water
case you forgot, this this is a fire alarm video because there's a fire alarm right here. I don't know what you're talking about. But yeah, so then we got pasta water, probably a little too much actually. Dump a bit of that out, I guess. Um, seems about good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pasta water. I don't even know if I can do this with one hand. Uh, there it is. Put it on. You notice I moved this pan because this is a bigger burner here. That uh, is able to boil water like super quickly. At least quicker. So put it on there. I didn't put it on full because uh, my stove is a little this pot's a little small. It will kind of like burn the handles or whatever. So kind of on like this much heat to where it's like covering the bottom, I guess. Okay, so any of you are actually like watching this not for entertainment and actually want to follow this tutorial, sorry, but uh, yeah, no gathering materials section. Um, for the pasta water, we're just gonna put some salt and some olive oil in it. Probably good. In case you're wondering why uh, I'm just eyeballing a lot of stuff, um, it's because I suck at cooking. Actually, no, I'm actually just so skilled that I don't need. Basically, all this oil is doing is making it so the noodles don't stick as much, so fine to put a decent amount in there. Put this back in our place here. God damn it, it appears uh, the um, onions have burned a little bit. This is fine. No one's gonna notice. They're just, they're just onions in a sauce. It's, everything's fine. I'm not just saying that. I would never. All right, for the next step, we're gonna add some beef. So you're gonna wanna open it, obviously. And then I can't do this one-handed, but I'll come back once it's in the pan. All right, we got an entire colony of beef here. Put this in the trash. Yeah, we're gonna kind of break this up a little bit. Turn this heat down. Jesus Christ. You know you're doing it right if it looks bad at this stage. That's kind of how it goes. Alright. Where did I put the damn thing? Oh, there it is. I'm also going to add uh, some Italian sausage because it makes it really good. Another thing I can't do one-handed, so... If you're not an absolute Neanderthal, after you uh, handle raw meat, it's probably a good idea to just, like, wash your hands. Technically a suggestion, but like if you don't do that, you're actually just disgusting and I don't really want to ever touch anything that you cook. Yeah, look at how delicious this looks. Doesn't it just look amazing? Uh, trust, trust, trust. You gotta, you gotta trust me. This, this is part of the process, okay? I know what I'm doing, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, since this is a definitely a fire alarm video, we got a we got a 20 out of three. See, the reason it's not going off is because I'm doing good and nothing nothing's caught on fire yet. I uh yeah, definitely best cook ever over here. I feel I should probably state this since there's probably some dumb actually following along with this. You're gonna want to like cook this until it's all brown and not pink because I don't want to be responsible for you actually, like, causing the end of your family lineage because you killed your entire family. So, yeah, you definitely want this to be cooked because, um, 
it's kind of an important step, not gonna lie. As you can see, by the way, the pasta noodle juice takes a decent amount to heat up, so definitely want to try to start that as early as you can. I might have even started a bit too late, but usually it just tends to work out when I'm not recording, so, you know. We're getting pretty close, but there's still a bit of pink. You don't want that. You want it to be brown, okay? No, no medium rare spaghetti meat, okay? God damn it, somebody's gonna make medium rare spaghetti meat now and I'm gonna be responsible for it. Well, natural selection, I guess. Good golly! Our pasta water has started boiling, so we're gonna actually turn the heat down a bit because I'm not ready to actually put the pasta in yet because I haven't even started the, the sauce part of the sauce, you know, it's kind of an important step. But we'll get there. Alrighty, we're gonna drain the grease the cool way that was taught to be my 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 brother's mom, sister's mother. It's the one who started doing this, yeah. But I'm gonna kinda just use a lid. For those of those who are like, oh you can't pour that down the drain. Shut the fuck up. As you can see, the grease is still escaping, so you're gonna do this until the grease is no longer escaping. But seems pretty all right. Camera on like that. So we're gonna turn the heat back on a little bit, just a little, little bit, you know. And uh, yeah, you'll know it's like pretty good because there's like not a lot of grease in there. That's the whole point of taking the grease out. There's there's no grease in it. Shouldn't have to explain this. Shit. Like God. All right, now uh, I'm gonna take pasta sauce. I use this stuff because. Yeah, not sponsored by the way, I wish, that would be nice. But uh, do this one-handed, no I'm absolutely not actually. All right, one second. Watch, I'm gonna do this with my thumb and my pinky because I'm so strong, ready? Oh yeah, see that? Now what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna put it with, with, with the, the, you're gonna add the sauce to the sauce. It's not hard, easy concept. I usually use two things of sauce because extra saucy, watch this. So strong. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put this this way. And then we got more uh, with this stuff. Just uh, Yep, put it in the, in the meat, you know. Now guys, I know what you're thinking. This looks like dog shit. Trust me. You gotta trust the process, okay? You gotta trust the process. And I'm gonna mix this in, like so. Very simple. As you can see, it looks like spaghetti sauce now. Like, it's almost like that's the whole damn point. It's crazy. But yeah, you're just gonna slowly mix this around and stuff. So yeah, anyway, this is totally a fire alarm video, guys, because uh, there's there's a fire alarm there. I also might have dementia. I feel like I've said that before or something. It's crazy. Now, if you value your pipes or something and you don't want grease in them, because some people don't like putting grease down the sink, you can pour one of these into a bowl and then try and pour the grease into the jar. Honestly, it's just a pain in the ass, so... I didn't do it. But yeah, we're just gonna clean these jars out because recycling is good. 
All right, now we're gonna season this. I've got some garlic salt, basil because Italian or whatever, I don't know. Uh, and then we have literally Italian seasoning. That's literally what this is. It's like, I think it's from Yolks or some grocery store. Half of you probably don't even know what Yolks is because you don't live in Washington. Try to do a bit, bit of this one-handed because content, but this is a pain in the ass, so I might just use two hands. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, we got a, a decent amount of this in the uh, in the sauce, you know. So we're gonna mix it in, obviously, because you don't want half your sauce to have seasoning and the other half not. I'm gonna take some garlic. I'm actually gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Come on. Oh damn, there's like not even a thing in there. Okay, so we're gonna be a little bit careful with this. Just kind of. Sprinkle it around, you know. Don't want it too salty. That ruins that ruins it. Too much salt. Be bad. Don't worry about me not measuring it at all. You just kinda You can also taste test it, you know, you just like, you know, eat some, you know, it's like you know. If you really want to. Um uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're giving this to non-family members or whatever because eh, germs exist <laughs> yeah that might be too much damn it basil's kind of forgiving at least so it's, it's like not horrible if you put too much of it you know that was a decent bit though I'm not gonna lie as you can see, look, it looks like spaghetti sauce. Now what we're going to do next is uh, spaghetti noodles. So, yeah, spaghetti noodles. All right, now the only logical way to put this in is like grab a handful, obviously, and you're just going to do that. Probably turn the heat up a little bit. And yeah, we're going to get some tongs out of here. To kind of make sure it's in there and stuff. Yeah, might not even be enough. Might just put the whole box in to be honest. Uh, usually ends up not being enough noodles. That's a lot, damn. Well, there's definitely enough noodles. I think I dropped one. Oh yeah, I did. Probably grab that. Ah, I'll just get it later. It's gonna be burned or whatever. All right, so we got the we got the spaghetti cooking. Sauce is looking pretty bussin'. Yeah, all going good. Basically, just waiting on the noodles now. Usually, we put these red pepper flake things in that are really good, but I, honestly, I I can't find the. I can't find them, so I think we're out of them, unfortunately. Probably add a bit more Italian seasoning or something. I found it. I was looking. I was looking for the wrong bottle. This one's also on really tight. So. Oh, there we go. There we go. These are actually really good. Probably would make any Italian kill themselves, but I mean, it makes it taste good, you know. That's what we're about here. Yeah, I think this is like, it's like the same brand as the Italian herb stuff. I just couldn't find the actual thing that it came in because we have these fancy spice thingies, you know, as one does. All right, so with, uh, with the pasta, you usually just kind of take some and put it on the counter. Because... It's hot and I don't want to touch it with my fingers. Some of you can say this is nasty, I don't care. Yeah, you just kind of taste test it, huh? Not bad. Another thing you can do sometimes, if you don't use too much oil, which I probably did, if you just throw it at the cabinet and it sticks, 
it's done but as you can see there's too much oil now it's sticking to the damn floor obviously we can tell it's pretty good though because of the taste test this isn't bad go ahead and throw this away because nasty got to clean my hand like a chef you know they're like You know how it goes. All right, now with this, we're actually gonna wanna use a colander or a strainer, whatever the hell it's called. I think I got one up here. Oh, I'm too short. I got a brick. Definitely didn't have to jump for that. That would be embarrassing. I'm so tall. Anyway, so we're gonna put this in the sink, as one does. And yeah, depending on your uh, pot, you might wanna use a pot stickers. Pots, what the hell am I talking about? I don't know why I said pot stickers. I'm actually stupid, but yeah, the handles get kind of hot. So yeah, we got our we got our spaghetti, right? We got the colander in the sink. Don't forget the colander. That would be very bad. So then, then your spaghetti noodles will go in the drain. Okay. So we're gonna just pour them into the into the colander. Don't forget the colander. I swear to God. All right. So we got our we got our noodles, right? Yeah, looking looking pretty pretty decent if I do say so myself. Yeah. If you're cooking, you're gonna definitely have a dish pile, so unfortunately for those people that don't like doing chores, you're gonna have to do the dishes, so yeah, that's the thing. Ooh, murder weapon. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn this burner off. Switch to this one, just on like a really low heat. Put that in the middle. Perfect. All right, it's looking looking pretty good. Get ourselves a big spoon, like so. And then you just get a bowl. Any of these will work. I'm gonna use one of these fancy bowls. Then you take the sauce on top of the noodles, like so. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna test this. We're gonna taste test it. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just spaghetti. You like you know twirl the fork, right? And then and then you eat the food. It's very simple. You just ah, very good, very good. I'm busting a ten out of ten. Guys, I've I've gotten a master, renowned figure in the cooking community to to review my food. You you guys aren't ready for this. Hell yeah, we got, we got, we got, we got Chase. Chase, man. Ret returning from like two years ago in one of the videos. Very squishy. See, see, notice, see how I told you guys, the only way to do this is you put the noodles and then the sauce on top. People do it differently. Apparently. <laughs> it's, it's like the, it's like, it's like cereal or some shit. I don't know. How do you get simmer going on the sauce? For real, for real. I almost didn't find the red pepper flakes. It would have been tragedy. Would have been pain. That looks very bussin'. All right. That's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, that's Would what I'm recommend. saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. For real, for real.